वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन इनवॉइस वेरिफिकेशन इन एस ए पी एम एम इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड लेंट ऑन पोस्टिंग क्रेडिट क्रेडिट मेमो फॉर ए इनवाइस बिफोर डेट वन वी हैड लेंट अबाउट दी ओवर व्यू ऑफ क्रेडिट मेमोस एंड रिवर्सल्स वी आर इन पार्ट नंबर फोर ऑफ सब्सिक्वेंट डेबिट क्रेडिट डिलीवरी कास्ट एंड क्रेडिट मेमोस सो द पार्ट नंबर फोर डील्स विथ क्रेडिट मेमोस एंड रिवर्सल्स now we will move to the next section of the credit memos and reversals which is section c and here we will learn how to post subsequent credit for a invoice so let us move to our exercise sheet here section c here this is our exercise sheet here so there is a po number 45000180030 with two line items Vendor has delivered full PO quantity of both line item 10 and line item 20. For the line item 20, vendor has invoiced with an excess amount of rupees 50 than the PO price. You inform the vendor about this. The vendor sends you the following credit memo because their company made the error. This credit memo is with reference to PO number 45000180030. Line item is 20. This is the material number. Quantity is 10 pieces, and the amount is 50 rupees. Tax amount is 10% of 50 rupees, which is 5 rupees, and total credit is 55 rupees. You enter the credit memo for rupees 50, which was charged more than PO amount. Why do you have to enter this credit memo as a subsequent credit? So first, let us go to this PO number and check this PO history. This is our PO number. PO here. Four five zero 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 one eight zero three zero. If we see the PO here, there are two line items. First line item, this is the line item ten. PO quantity is ten pieces and the amount is hundred rupees. So GR is done. GR quantity is ten pieces and invoice quantity is also ten pieces. Price everything is fine. If we go to the line item twenty, the total PO quantity is ten pieces and the price is two hundred rupees. Now if we go to the PO history of the line item number 20. Uh, GR quantity is fine. Total G quantity delivered is 10 pieces as per PO, and invoice quantity is also quantity is also fine, 10 pieces only. But the invoice amount is higher, higher than the PO amount. The PO amount is 2000 rupees, but the vendor has sent invoice for 2050 rupees, which is 50 rupees more than the PO amount. Now We had informed this to the vendor, and hence the vendor has given a credit memo for the rupees fifty, which was charged higher by the vendor. So now what we will do? We will have to post a subsequent credit for this fifty rupees, which was charged more than the PO amount. So if we go to the sheet here, let us go to SAP, go to the transaction code Miro. And post this subsequent debit for the rupees fifty. There is a question here. Why do you enter this credit memo of rupees fifty sent by the vendor as a subsequent credit? So we know very well the credit memo corrects only the total invoice quantity and not the total invoice value. But the subsequent credit corrects the total invoice value. Since we need to correct the Total invoice value in our case now we enter it as a subsequent credit. So this one we have already learnt in my previous video on section A of the credit memos and reversals. So what we will do? We will go to SAP and go to the transaction code Miro and then post a subsequent credit for rupees fifty. So here, let me go to SAP system here. I am. I am already in the Miro transaction code here. So what I had to do? First, I had to select it as a subsequent credit because I had to correct the total invoice value. Put the today's date, thirty August. Reference number one eight zero three zero slash subsequent credit. So select the tax code S two. S two. So. We will just verify the tax code here in our purchase order. Go to the invoice tab page. Tax code is S2 for both the line item 10 and 20. We have seen here already. Okay.
okay so tax code is fine we have entered the tax code then we will go to the pu reference tab page and input the pu number 45000180030 here select goods and service items and lay out all information as usual enter now system will suggest the only the total quantity and not the value because the, the value or the amount we have to adjust now that is why it is blank now what we will do we will input the that is the uh, subsequent credit of rupees 50 for the item number 20 just we will just uh, here in the purchase order right item number 20 we have to post a subsequent credit of rupees 50 item number 20 here item number 20 select here put 50 rupees and don't put anything here in the item number 10 because item number 10 everything is fine so now after inputting 50 rupees in the item number 20 press enter system has selected only the second line don't select this line then deselect this one don't select this line item number 10 or first line item number 1 just select this item number 2 if you select this item number and 2 and press enter the balance will show as 50 rupees which we have to post it as a subsequent credit now what is the tax for this one we can input here directly 5 rupees 50 per 10 percent of 50 rupees is 5 rupees or click calculate tax 5 rupees and the total amount of the subsequent credit we have to post is 55 rupees which is 50 plus 5 55 put 55 here enter now the balance is zero and also it is green now click simulate now we can see the account moments so the total amount of 50 plus 5 55 rupees is the amount the vendor has to pay us back and this is 50 rupees will be updated in the GRAR clearing account uh, 50 rupees will be updated for the material account material account and 5 rupees will will be updated in the input tax account go back and just we can post the account payments here here when you click simulate simulate here simulate document we can see here so the vendor account 55 rupees and the material stock account 50 rupees which is minus sign and tax account 5 rupees which is also minus sign so here we can see that one so again i will show that one in the simulate mode here so 55 rupees the vendor which uh, has to pay us which is positive plus sign and this is the stock account material account of line item number 20 so 50 rupees and 5 rupees that is also minus sign negative sign which is of the input tax back and post the invoice post the invoice so these are account payments okay once we post a message will appear displaying the invoice document number just note down that invoice document number and also once this in once this subsequent credit document is uh, posted here we can go to the PO history of our purchase order number 45000180030 and see the subsequent credit document there in the purchase order system is posting the subsequent credit yeah now it is already posted this is the subsequent credit document number 5105609811 so now we will go to our purchase order so just click display change again click display change and go to the item detail yes now in the purchase order history we have to go to the item number 20 because we had posted the subsequent credit only for item number 20 go to the item number 20 yes for the item number 20 we can see this is the subsequent credit document 510560981. this is the main invoice document and this is the subsequent credit document so we can see here the main invoice document was posted for 2050 rupees which was 50 rupees higher than the PO price of 2000 rupees and now to correct this one 
the vendor has sent the subsequent credit of rupees 50 and we have posted the subsequent credit of rupees 50 and this is the subsequent credit document number so this is how to post a subsequent credit for a invoice thank you for watching my video please give me your valuable comments likes and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notification of my upcoming videos on several scenarios on mm thank you for your time and see you in my next video